Franklin and I'm going to tell you all about 3D shapes and nets using my kinetic styles. I'm going to be using some pretty cool geometry terms. They may sound tricky, but if you're anything like me, you probably already know some really complicated words like Pachyocephalosaurus and Astrophysitus? Astrophysicist? This is a square. It's a 2D shape. That means it's flat and only has two dimensions, length and width. It also has corners and sides. These are some of the 2D shapes that we'll see in this video. Square. Rectangle. Equilateral. Triangle. Isosceles triangle. Hexagon. 3D shapes are solid shapes that have three dimensions, length, width and depth. They also have faces, edges and vertices. Faces are the flat or curved surfaces that make up most of the outside of a 3D shape. Edges are the lines where two faces on the 3D shape meet. Just like this. Vertices sound a bit fancy but they're really just corners. They are formed when two or more edges on a 3D shape meet. This is a cube. It's a 3D shape with six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Each face is a square. When you open up the cube and lay all the faces out flat, it becomes a net. The net for the cube has six faces. When you fold the net back up, it creates a cube again. This is the score base pyramid. It has five faces, eight edges, and five vertices. This is the net for the square base pyramid. It has five faces. Let's fold it up. This is a triangular base pyramid. It has four faces, six edges, and four vertices. This is the net for the triangular base pyramid. It has four faces. Let's fold it up. This is a triangular prism. It has five faces, nine edges, and six vertices. This is the net for the triangular prism. It has five faces. Let's fold it up. This is a rectangular prism. It has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. This is the net for the rectangular prism. It has six faces. Let's fold it up. This is a hexagonal prism. It has eight faces, 18 edges, and 12 vertices. This is the net for the hexagonal prism. It has eight faces. Let's fold it up. fun our nets. You can try making your own with kinetics, tiles, or head to our website for more learning resources. If you head to our website, you'll find these 3D shapes and nets, loading cards, heaps of other free resources.